Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Alex. I'm Brandon. He's Brandon. This is Get My Chat Podcast. Today, we got a big, long discussion thing for you guys, but I'm going to let him talk about it. Really. Today, we're discussing Ether versus Takeover. Ether, Nas's diss song, Jay Z and Takeover, Jay Z's diss song to Nas. Back in 2001, hip hop fans were split in two as two of the best rappers of all time went back and forth during their infamous beef. Jay Z fired first again with Takeover in September of 01 singling out Nas and Mob Deep, and Ether was Nas's response to take over in December of 01, and was the popular favorite as the winner, at least on the internet. I'm on Nas's side here. Nas is one of my favorite rappers, and I think this, this, this song was definitely better um, for a million reasons. First one being, Kyan explained this reasonably well, uh, Kyan is our audio technician at our school. And, uh, he was, By the way, this doesn't describe why it's better. He just explained it. Yeah, he explained in it. A, I'm not picking this side or that side kind of way. Yeah, but like this, I'm using that as reasoning. Which I, I want, this is my mindset before, but I just hate nobody that explained it that well to me before. This is my mindset for what. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm fucked. Um, so Jay Z, he wakes up one day. He's like, you know who I really don't like, Brandon Budgeon. Who? I really don't like Nas. I'm gonna write <laughs> this down. Uh, I hate you, you suck, I did this, you did that, I fucked your wife, all these things, right? And then he puts a song out after he's been making this for God knows how long, and then uh, Nas is like, oh shit, somebody dissed me, oh no, and then he makes his song, but like that's just kind of like an angry freestyle because he wants to get it out as fast as possible, which is, I, I assume is what he did, I'm, reason- I'm honestly certain that he performed it before it was released. A few months later on his album. Not sure. I'm not sure if anyone was booking Nas at that time. Nas wasn't so hot at that time. He still had he, performances was, and shit. Well, like, he I was still had just a, joking. Yeah. But he wasn't being looked for at that time. Nobody but, uh, was checking for Nas this time. Nas started the beef with Jay-Z first. Okay. Well, actually, with Memphis Bleak. The, 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 or Memphis Bleak started with Nas. Then Nas included Jay-Z. And then Jay-Z had to step up for Rockefeller Records and release TakeOver. Okay, well, the thing is. The thing is, my friend. This would not. What I was saying would not be a problem. Okay. Usually it'd be like, oh, okay, like that's that's a, that's a normal thing. That's a normal situation. But I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is on heavy medication right now. He's got like a fucked up root canal issue oh in his my mouth. Boy. And uh, this is really entertaining. I think you guys just soak <laughs> this in right now. Wow. What was I talking about? Nas, Jay Z. Uh... Puff Daddy, Baby Smalls. <laughs> Can you give me a sec? Pop tarts? Can you talk? <laughs> you t- well, talk for a bit. I gotta think about what I was gonna say. Just respond to what I'm gonna say because I know it's probably gonna make you angry. Um, yeah, Nas was, wasn't being checked for at that time. It, this was like his resurrection. Jay Z made him relevant again with this beef. Now, with the actual song itself, uh, Takeover, I should move the table so much because it picks up in the mic yeah but um, awful i'm sorry guys yeah terrible um but I, I was gonna say oh no i totally forgot what i was gonna say no nah, i'm just joking i'm just making fun you're of you. so fucking funny <laughs> i'm like honestly concerned from my health right now thinking about this like, where did it go in my brain i lost it <laughs> with takeover takeover this is mob deep and nas he kills two birds with one stone with one song rather and he disses them both completely he spends maybe half a bar no, not half bars, a half a verse, maybe a, maybe one verse on Nas himself. Nas's song is all about Jay-Z, and it's just a bunch of angry vomit all over the place. It's no direction, no premise behind it, it's just I hate you. Here's what I was going to say, motherfucker. They're both angry vomit. They are both, both I hate you. These, like, it would not be a problem if uh, like Nas spent less time. Unless it's this situation, which is they're both equally mediocre songs where they're just saying angry, I hate you stuff. And and, and they both said some real shit. They both said mostly you suck and this is why. Nas may have made some cheesier gay jokes. Yeah, uh, Like Cockfell Records. And, yeah. I mean, that's uh, what I was going to say about that. Nas's song is basically schoolyard disses of Gazy and Cockfell Records. Why would you name a name? Why would you name a company after that? Rockefeller died of AIDS, which he didn't. AIDS wasn't even around back then when Rockefeller actually died. I feel like AIDS is always... It just said a bunch of little things like that. And Jay-Z did as well. He said his fair share of, like, you know, you little fuck about, like, uh, Mob Deep saying, you little fuck, I got money stacks bigger than you. Just, like, little disses like that to build up 
But I mean, he talked about how Jay Z outsold Nas and Mom, Bob Deep. I sold more in my first week than your whole album sold, which I is remember, true. Yeah, I fucked your bitch thing. He, he threw that in there, but he didn't just go out and <clears> say <throat> it like Tupac did. He just said, you know what and you know who. You know what and th- we'll keep that between me and you. Like, whatever the line was at the end there. I thought that was pretty slick. Some ninja shit. He just snuck that in there at the end. Jay Z went at it like. Like a beef, like he went in there with real situations, like a doctor just carved carved him up, and Nas just came out with like that "fuck you" gunshots. First thing you hear, uh, the the gunshots make the so they don't make the song. They're they like, do make the song because you, you that, hear that's the, the when you're like oh this is either awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean that definitely makes a song, and that's why I think a lot of people like that song. But that's just like the ignorant, get angry, fuck you shit, schoolyard disses, you dick sucker lips. You know, shit like that. And Jay Z's was more like, you know, I sold more albums than you. Nobody's checking for you. You haven't been hot. You had one one hot album in the last ten years. That's garbage. You know, that's shit's kinda true. Like, you know, people were thinking that. People were not looking for Nas. People forgot about him. I don't Okay, yeah. He disappeared for a bit for sure. But like he, he, he still did have a fan base. Absolutely. Like of course, he, he, like every he rapper was, has, a, was, has a fan base. He was today's Lupe right now. Mace has a, fa- has a fan base, but nobody's checking for Mace anymore. Chris Brown has a fan base. Well, Chris Brown's a different story. He's great. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but anyways, that's what I think. That's what Alex thinks. Let us know what you think. Do you think that Takeover, which clearly is the better song, is actually the song that won the beef? Or if Ether is the better song? People can't see what you're doing with your hands, dumb dumb. Oh, I thought I was trying to copy your hands, but they're not. <laughs> raise. Can you continue doing what you're doing so I can make fun of you? Yeah, subscribe now and let us know at the bottom of the screen if you think that Takeover was a better song or if Ether was a better diss track. And uh, yeah, have fun. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.